So here we are in uh, in the studio here. It's a little bit of a ad hoc situation. Uh, I'm here with Dave Crabtree, and um, we're going to talk today about the video that we made yeah. a year ago called Gasoline Pre-Lockdown, <laughs> Pre-Covid. <laughs> So, Gasoline comes out the 18th of June. I wrote it down in London with my producer Danny Shogger and Charlie Daw, who's an amazing songwriter and uh, she's had uh, a lot of success over the years. Um, it's a really cool song, it's really atmospheric, it's kind of inspired by bands like Radiohead and Coldplay that I really like. Uh, it's got a bit of a Jeff Buckley vibe. I, I think people will really like it. I hope, hope so. so. Hope so. Yeah. Hope they enjoy the video. <laughs> yeah, and the video. And what, when's it out again, Dave? 18th of June. 18th of June. I remembered that. Just <laughs> uh, so the idea that I had, I think, when you first yeah. sent me the track, um, uh, for, uh, sort of dark, the first things that popped in my head were kind of like dark clouds and yeah. something moody and... A, obviously atmospheric mm. um, and obviously give it, given our location and things we had access to and budget I thought Whitby perfect my but, hometown exactly let's let's go to Whitby and see what we can do you've got the the, the pier and uh, a beach and obviously with it being on the northeast coast mm. I did hope that it would be rainy and cloudy and grim and, and, grim and there wouldn't be any people there and uh, it was completely the opposite. Uh, so we <laughs> we uh, forwarded, messaged each other a few yeah. ideas, and we met met, met up in Whitby, mm. uh, and we had a walk around, and the sun was out. It was gorgeous. Which it wasn't supposed to be. Ice at cream all. weather. Ice cream weather. There was loads of people around, walking dogs on the beach, yeah. and things like that. Um, but anyway, we went. We you know went ahead and uh, filmed a load of random footage on the beach and yep, yep. Uh, things like that uh, and had a bit of a laugh. Yeah, it was great fun. <laughs> so what was that, March 2020, wasn't it? March, yeah, just before, probably about a week before lockdown, I think we did it. I think it was. I remember I parked up in a back street in Whitby and opposite that somebody had spray painted, yeah. uh, well, I can't remember what it said now. It's something like go home. Go home. Lockdown 2020, or stay mm -hmm. stay safe, go yeah, home, stay yeah, safe, yeah, or something yeah, like that. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it was uh, I think a week before yeah. the national lockdown, and that was the last pint we had in a pub. And I think I've only been back once since. Uh, yeah, I haven't. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's all it's all changed, but yeah, we did actually sit in a pub. People used to do that. <laughs> they did, and uh, yeah, it was it was a nice sunny evening, and uh, unfortunately, it wasn't raining, and it wasn't cloudy. No. But no. I think it worked. The uh, you know the rocks and the, yeah. the sea and things like that did help us out a little bit. You, you practiced your backwards running. I did. I did some. Uh, there's a scene uh, where Dave, I'm diving. you are, <laughs> where you're walking towards me, and there was only, there was only me and you yeah, there. We yeah. didn't have a you know crew or anyone yeah, else. No, and it's I, just us two. I had a backpack on with bits and pieces in and uh, a speaker in my pocket mm. and I'd press play and you'd be yeah. sort of singing yeah. along with yeah. the track and I'm, I've got my camera and I'm walking backwards and I did, did I go over a, a rock? You went over a rock? I went over a rock so he's watching me filming him yeah. as I'm slowly backing towards a rock. Yeah, I, I, just, I just carried on because <laughs> I, I thought maybe Rich was going for some really cool angle <laughs> on the floor. <laughs> So I just carried on singing and actually was there kind of, you know, rolling around in agony, but... Uh, I managed to not drop the camera. Yeah, the was, camera was fine. That was the most important bit. But uh, you've still got problems with your back. I'm <laughs> having lockdown problems with my back, yeah. Um, but uh, usually, usually in that situation, I usually wear my walking boots if mm. I'm on beaches and mm. farmland and stuff. I yeah. had my trainers on, so yeah. I, not only did I fall over, over a rock, I actually had wet feet yeah. as well. You could have done with your swimsuit for this one. <laughs> <laughs> so I had wet feet and I fell over. But we got, we got, we got some good shots there. It was really good, really um, productive shoot. Yeah, there's a, there's a little snippet of a scene, I think, on the beach where it's going forwards on the beach, mm. and that was just me running with the camera. Yeah, and there's lots of kind of shots like that, aren't there, in the video where we've, we've yeah. got some kind of 
what would Something. you call it? B stock or some B roll, yeah. B roll, B roll, and and we added quite a lot of that in, which I think really adds to the atmosphere. Yes, um, yeah. and obviously we shot down the pier as well, didn't we? we shot down the pier. We shot on both the beaches on either side. Mm. Uh, yeah, we shot on the pier because that was mm. that was the pier they recently opened. They recently you know, opened. Yeah. Recently opened. So I'd never. Yeah, sorry, go on. I'd never even been on that pier before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The extension. Uh, yeah, so it was. It was quite a productive evening. And then we we wrapped up and went mm. to uh, went to the pub. Went to the pub, and uh, we had a pint of Atlantic, didn't we? Pint of Atlantic, <laughs> perfect. Okay, the fire. Yeah. Um, because the chorus is feel the feel the fire. Feel the fire. Love okay. is such a liar. That's it. Yeah, we did think it needs fire, so I don't think we could set a fire in Whitby. Uh, so you come up with the idea of a fire. Because it's it's got kind of this moody element to the song, I thought someone ripping up what might be a love letter or something or something memorable of a couple yeah. ripping it up and throwing it in a fire kind of fit the feel the fire yeah. love is such a liar type thing. Um, so you said, why don't we build a fire in Glazedale yeah. and set fire to some stuff? Yeah. Which I thought that sounds great. Yeah. Let's set fire to some things. Let's start a fire. And. Uh, did, at some point during when we were able, I think. It was just at the end of lockdown when we could meet outside. Yes, it was, and yeah. in all of those scenes, I'm wearing a hood. Yes. Because I hadn't been able to have a haircut <laughs> to match the first part of the video. <laughs> yes. <Yeah>. And, <laughs> and I'm still waiting for that haircut again a year later. And we, uh, I went to, up, to, uh, up to Glazedale, where you live, mm. and... We had a beer outside, yeah, which was really nice because nice I hadn't really seen any other yeah. human beings apart from the ones that live in my house <laughs> for a few months. So we sat outside in the uh, sunshine and had a beer, and then uh, we started to build a yeah, try, try to build a fire. And we built a fire. <laughs> we, we used, I think, the entire stock of fire lighters from the local <laughs> shop, and we still couldn't get it going. Took about <laughs> it took how long it took. It took ages. Took a while to get the fire going, but it, we got it going. We got we got some footage of uh, a moody day with his hood yeah, up, looking yeah. all heartbroken and yeah, stuff, yeah. ripping up what you know could be a love letter or something and discarding it. Into some yeah, fire. It, was the, it was the receipt for the fire lights. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and it's, it's it seemed to work. We got yeah. kind of the, the scene out of it that that we thought definitely would to get work. that contrast with the the scenes from the beach. Yeah. yeah. Yes, uh, the final, I thought we need something else um, into the bits that, that we had yeah. there and the idea in my, my head for that, I thought a pier or a jetty or something mm. would look kind of cool Yeah. and there is one just five minutes down the road from me and you knew where it was mm. so I suggested why don't we go there, it's mostly shut because it's not fishing season mm. and uh, we can just use the pier the little jetty where the boats normally are and you can look out to water which would tie into the beach kind of stuff mm. and it might make some interesting b-roll again Definitely. and um, we met up because in between that time you cut your hair off I actually got my hair back to pre pre covid levels again yeah so we couldn't we had we had to wait till he his hair had grown back and uh, we went to. Oh, yeah, because I forgot. I had actually shaved you my shaved hair. Shaved your hair. I had off. got that wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this time it's grown long. The first time I shaved it, you shaved and it looked off. like someone out of jailbreak. You did, yes. Um, yeah. <laughs> so we Prison went down break. to we went to the Beck at Lockwood and yep. filmed a few bits and pieces there. It was great. Uh, which uh, I think what I could see in my head was sort of the closing thing of the closing scene as the song winds down to to the end that uh, you would be looking out to this mm. empty yeah. kind of countryside and yeah. water, water and yeah. things. I thought it might sound interesting. And the whole thing was shot on the, on the North York Moors, wasn't it? All uh, of or, it was... Or, or in the North York Moors National Park. All of it was, yeah. So, yeah, so yeah was. that was cool. So it was all nice. pretty much close to home in, in, in between uh, periods of lockdown when we could travel or... Yeah. Because at that point, uh, you you weren't really supposed to be. It was supposed to be essential yeah. activities, and so we weren't sure whether or not you could even do filming. I don't even think TV production and stuff was no, happening in, no, in at no. that specific point. So uh, we were a bit unsure of what we could do and when we could do it. So we just had to wait. It was probably the longest three-minute video 
ever, wasn't it, for, <laughs> it for the making of. It, it took was. about six months to make, but not because of <laughs> us. Because <laughs> you, you weren't supposed to leave your house. <laughs> And then it, uh, and then after that, um, it kind of sat in the can, as it were, yep. uh, for a little while, as uh, everyone enjoyed summer, and you were working on various yeah. other bits and pieces. Well, we filmed another video. We filmed another video in that time, and. I went on holiday, and then we entered another lockdown. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. We, we were really unlucky with the timing for the lockdowns, actually. Uh, and then we uh, came back to it. Yeah. Just after Christmas, mm. and started going through the footage, seeing what was there, and trying to remember and refresh our minds as to mm. what bits were done, what bits uh, we had that were cool, and there was some things in there that I'd completely forgot about. And yeah. Then we started putting the video together, and. Um, yeah, it kind of fell, to, fell together fairly well. I think. Really quickly, once we actually got to everything, when, once we got everything together, it was really quick, wasn't it? It was, it was. And, and it's come out really well. I can't wait for people to see it. You did a great job getting it all together and filming everything, and uh, it looks great. So, that is our little story yeah. of gasoline. Yeah, how we made it, yeah. And uh, where's the best place, that, uh, where can people watch it now? So it's going to be on YouTube and it'll be on my Facebook page. Uh, my YouTube page is David Neil Crabtree. Uh, uh, it'll be on Instagram as well. And um, where are we going to put this video, by the way? I don't know. YouTube and, and stuff. It'll be on YouTube and be stuff. On YouTube and things, YouTube and things. YouTube and things. <laughs> and the song's going to be on Spotify. And hopefully, hopefully we can get it out there. It'll be really good. I think. I think of all of my songs that I've released, I'm really excited about this one. It's the direction sonically that I want to go in and. Uh, yeah, that's it really. Cool. Thanks for watching. Love Thank you. Like gasoline. I should know what it means.